Right hand, left hand, right hand, foot. Right hand, left hand, right hand, foot. Possum, why aren't you cooperating? I've just got to practice my puppeteering before the master puppeteers get here. Can we give it another go? <sighs> I'm really trying to learn to be a great puppeteer. I'm having a bit of trouble, so I'm hoping you guys can provide me of with course. some tips. <laughs> First of all, how long have you guys been puppeteers for and why do you like it so much? Well, we've been puppeteers for the last couple of years and we love it so much because it combines all the things that we love, like music and art and bringing whole characters to life. Wow! It seems like there's a lot of different types of puppets. Can you run us through some of the different types? <laughs> well, what we've got here is uh, Mr. Camel. He's a little bit crazy. So Jonathan manipulates him by opening and closing his mouth like that and wiggling his wrist. Yeah! And then some of the other puppets we have are glove puppets. Like oh, that's a cute Jack one. here. <laughs> He's from our show Jack and the Beanstalk. And Jonathan manipulates him by nodding the three fingers in the head and the these two as the hands. Whoa. That's quite tricky to do. <laughs> Takes a bit of practice, but it's quite fun. We also have puppets with sticks, like this caterpillar here. And Aww. he walks like that. And it's a stick puppet. <laughs> Another puppet that has sticks, he's made from balsa wood. And each part of his body is attached with a little join so that we're able to manipulate and move each part of his body. <laughs> and we also have some tiny puppets that we use with our fingers, finger puppets. And these are our cheeky monkeys that we use at our childcare centre shows. Five little monkeys swinging in a tree. <laughs> they are so, so cute. Now, I really want to get my own puppet show together, but I've never actually seen a puppet show before. Do you guys reckon you could show us yours? Definitely. Hey, buongiorno. My name is Marco Polo, and I've got a nice, fresh carrot for my friend, uh, Mr. Camel. Like a fresh carrot. Ah, mamma mia! What you do that? You do the spit in my face. Why you do that? You no nice. No, you no get to the carrot. Eh? No. I'm so sorry, boys and girls. He is normally a. Eh? No. I see you. A very good camel, but uh, today he's a little bit naughty. Eh? I don't know what to do. Why you taking my carrot? Yeah. You taking my carrot? You will take it. I know it. Yes. Oh, I hit the puppet. I hit look. I hit look. It is not down here. Eh? I not see it. I not see the carrot. I don't know know what you. Eh? You ain't got it. Yeah. Give me that. Eh? Yeah. You ain't not it. I do not know what to do with him sometimes. I promise he is a very nice camel, eh? He's a... <sighs> How can I stay mad at you? You're so cute, you're so cute, you're a cute pie. Here, you have the carrot. We go home, you have all of the carrots you want, eh? Arrivederci. so much about puppetry today, but there's one thing I haven't learnt yet, and that is how to make a puppet. So, Marianne, where do I start? Well, I like to start with a blank puppet. This is my Velcro friend here, and he's made out of a special type of Velcro material, so I can Whoa! stick all these wonderful eyes Whoa! that all have Velcro backing on them. So, I can get some eyes. Now where you place so cool. the <laughs> eyes is really important because it defines the character. So if I went like this... Oh no, it's an angry puppet! <laughs> it looks so scary. <laughs> and you could add all sorts of things like some big ears. Oh, it looks like an alien. <laughs> and a nose. <laughs> an angry alien. Or maybe we could turn it into a girl. Ooh. Ooh. Doesn't look very cute, though. <laughs> Aww. 
What about the hair? Did we, she get any hair? Yeah, we definitely need hair. We can't leave her bald, so let's give her a wig. So what if the clubs at home don't have anything as fancy as this puppet? Well, that's okay because all they need is a sock. A sock! Yeah. I've got a sock. Also good. Now, when we make puppets and when we do anything with puppetry, <laughs> we like to remember three things, and that's sound, movement, and using your imagination. So Got it. There's the, the key things to becoming a puppeteer. Okay, so what do we need to do first? We've okay. got our sock. We've got our sock. So basically, we'll add some movement. So, wiggle your hands into your sock. You can make it move. And now, we'll add some sound. So pull a little bit of your hand out. Yeah. So you've got a floppy bit. And then open your hand inside and stuff that bit in like that. So now, Oh, yep. You have a talking mouth. Oh, wow. That's Hello. cool. Ba, 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 ba. <laughs> so now let's give our puppet some eyes. Yeah. Cool. Some big round eyes are always good. You could do sad eyes. You could do crazy eyes. You can do happy eyes. You can do one smaller or one bigger, like I kind of did. You could also like, colour them in a little bit. Okay. Wait. Now get your scissors. Thank you. Cut them out. Very careful. Maybe ask an adult for help if you need some help. Sweet. Okay, so now I've got my eyes, I've got my purple sock. What do I do next? Sticky tape. Oh, okay, cool. So I like to make a sticky loop. Thank Have you, you made a sticky loop before? Uh, yeah. Stick your eyes on the front so we can see you. You could also add a tongue. Stick a tongue right in there. Now that you have puppet fever, it's time to get yourself involved. Wow. Design and create your very own sock puppet, send us a photo and you could be the winner of our puppet giveaway. <laughs> the best creation will receive a handmade professional puppet thanks to Puppet Oodle. Send your photo in along with your name, address, age and contact number to be in the running to win. Puppets! My goodness, Possum, that is the best idea you've ever had. Clever's Possum just said we should put his beginning and my ending together and make a huge super children's book. Possum, that is the best idea. Yep, yep. Clever's, we have to go. We have a busy afternoon ahead. This is going to be the best-selling children's book ever. Quick, see you, Tate Possum. Yeah,